it wasn't as easy as I'm saying it. Obviously, there was a time where I just felt like giving up. I was born in Madrid in a little place called Hortaleza. And we was there for seven years. Very good, you know, we loved it there. I was with my mom, dad and little sister. There was like a little playground that I would always used to go with my dad. There would be like a lot of racism going on towards me. It would just be me trying to play with the other kids, but they didn't want to play with me. My dad and mom are from Ecuador. Obviously, at a young age, me not fully being Spanish, you could tell the other kids were fully Spanish and they just didn't want me to be involved with them. So it would be a thing where I would just have to kick the ball against the wall and that's how I just started to play football. And from then, like my dad saw that I had a bit of quality in me. It was hard, but obviously as a little kid, you don't really notice it much, but my parents noticed it and they just preferred that they would just rather take me away from them. And then after that, we moved obviously to London. Where I was from was like Camberwell, South East London. So over there, there's a lot of cage football, a lot of rough people rough area as well so I've been living in rough sides throughout my whole life and this obviously got in that side of me it's matured me at a young age when I started to play with like older kids in the area and I was physically just up to it you know technically I was better than them as well and then I said to myself that I could actually give football like a, a real shot at a young age obviously you start playing as a hobby and then when you start trialing for clubs and clubs are looking at you, that's when it becomes more serious. So I would say I took it serious, like properly into it when I went on trial as my first club as Charlton Athletic Football Club. I didn't really get going like fast enough. It took me quite a bit of time. Obviously the second year and the third year that I was there became so much easier. I started to pick up a lot of confidence. I've always wanted to represent Ecuador since I was a little kid. It was always a dream of mine. So I've always had Ecuador there, like close to my heart. I obviously went there at the age of 13 and it went brilliant until it came to a stage where the coach told me that um, they had better players than me and that's why I backed off a little bit. And because I was already playing in Charlton, that's when the opportunity came to, to represent England. It was a, a big thing in my career, to be fair, not just for me, but my family as well, because we've moved into the country and England has always been one of the best countries in the world in terms of football. So it was a real honor to represent them. At the time, there was a couple of things going on in Charlton and that's why we decided that we wanted to take a, a different chapter. At the time, Benfica was the right one for me. When I first went there, I was used to the England style. But over there, they told me to just relax a little bit, take it easy. Most teams here won't come and press you at all, so you just had to know when to dribble and know when to pass. It's really helped me a lot to have both playing styles. That last year at Benfica just changed everything. I mean, I wasn't playing. I didn't renew my contract and I just got sat down. I wasn't allowed to go into the facilities, train at all. I just wanted to come back home. So the move came at the right time. Like I said, there was a lot of clubs interested, but Brighton have always been there for me. They were there since I was at Charlton, so they were really interested in me. And we just thought that the setup was there. They had a plan out for me, which was to start in the 23s, and depending on how I get on, jump straight to the first. Everything came so quick, the debut in Brighton. I was really happy, really buzzing, my family as well. And when it was time for the match, I felt nervous. But at the same time, I wanted to get out there on the pitch and just enjoy and do what I do best. I wanted to carry on playing for England. By the time it was hard because, like I said, that last year at Benfica just changed everything. And one day I got a call from the coach and he just said, listen, I, I can't carry on calling you if you're not playing, I have to call other players. I spoke with my dad and we said, listen, like, we've got no other option than to go with Ecuador. So we got in contact with them. I changed nationalities, not just because I'm Ecuadorian, but it was something that really was good for my parents as well. You know, it really meant something for them just to bring that smile to them. I spoke with the, with the coach as well, Gustavo Alfaro, who spoke to me and said, listen, I want to bring you in and I just want you to do the same thing you do in Brighton. I just feel comfortable. When I first got the call up, I spoke to the coach and I said, this must be like the under 20s that I've been called up. I didn't believe it. And then he said, no, 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 like, this is the first team, like, you're the senior team. And I was just crazy, like, I was shocked. So I called my dad and he didn't even believe it. So, I mean, everything came so quick, the debut in Brighton, and I had to be called up for, the, for Ecuador. And I felt part of the team, I felt important in the team. 
And I remember obviously that game was against Chile and that game was just crazy. I mean, first couple minutes, Arturo Vidal got a straight red and we just said, listen, like, this, is, this is our game. Like, we can't lose, like, we have to win. From then, we didn't look back. It was a hard journey. I mean, at a time, a couple years ago, the country didn't believe in us. They didn't believe that we would qualify in any World Cup coming. So to show that we're capable of everything and to reach a World Cup, it just shows a lot. I mean, we've, we've lifted up the 17 million people that live in the country and now everyone has belief in us. Knowing that Qatar is, is close, my objective is just to put my name out there. And you know, just, just help the team get to a, a good place, play a semi-final or even a final, who knows. Like just looking back at what we've been through since I was a little kid, it wasn't as easy as I'm saying it. Obviously, there was a time where I just felt like giving up, but with the help of my family that were always there for me, really helped me to get going. You know, I, I do this for them.